told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, as you fade away Hey you peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. Well, got some good news for you. Uh, we finally got the, the booster all happening. So that's, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, a bit of a weight off my shoulder that everything's actually finally working. Let's go have a look, eh? So VH is ready to, gonna give it a clean tomorrow and also um, start working on that in a second. But um, yeah, we'll show what we've done exactly. And um, yeah, what we've, uh, Changed up, so we've got the light on uh, Just so then I can see in um, my bit of a dark spot here. That's all all right, so The whole bike got fully rewired um, Yeah started back so the fuel tech uh, Was just pretty much just the bang on thing. Uh, I wasn't gonna run the fuel tech on it um, originally so uh, It was just sort of just a knock up uh, just get it up there ready to go and um yeah, you know, the fuel tanks is so easy to wire. I uh, just did it within a day last time and um, just got it to work. You know, that was just sort of, that was it. Uh, but now, you know, now I've got time. I really want to, um, 
yeah, I've always wanted to mount it into the dash and um, you know, mount, make something custom there for the fuel tech. Uh, so let's have a quick look. All right, so as you can see, Everything's it's all actually mounted up in there now. So painted up in two packs, satin black. I uh, got the pass through USB there now. So the USB is hooked into the uh, the fuel tank itself. Uh, just yeah, can plug it into it. Uh, other side, you know, you got the other side here that plugs into the laptop, and uh, everything works. So. That was a quick good one. Um, yeah, that there is actually, believe it or not, that is actually the old cluster. All right, so this is what it used to look like, guys. Um, I do like the booster cluster, all right? So um, I'm not saying it, um, you know, I've made it 100% better or anything like that, but, um, you know, because I love this one here is the, the Gen 1, the one with the, went it up to 340. All right, but um, this one, you know, we have everything working, all right, guys? All right, so. Got the gear selector, all right. All right, into first, all right. Second, all right. Just getting it to, okay. All right, first, neutral. All right, so let me try to get into gear. There we go. All right, so in neutral now. All right, so that's what we've done. Uh, clean up a few things here. All the wiring is absolutely mint now. All right, everything, I've just taken out a heap of wiring, guys. Uh, rewind everything up the front as well. Um, actually, what we've done also is added another thermo fan onto uh, the radiator there. You can see the little one tiny in there. All right, these are uh, the Gen 1s only come up with one fan. And um, yeah, they tend to, well not, they don't always, but they sometimes overheat on, uh, just on idling. So added another fan there. Uh, everything's all wired up, guys. Uh, you can see the two-step. All right, our speed's hooked up as well. Um, gear indicator, as you can see, uh, and everything else, just like the, the fuel tech. All right, um, I've hidden the wide band. All right, got that off of um, a couple of the guys that do the fuel techs. Uh, they tend to hide them and they just have them displayed up on the, the fuel tech itself. It just makes everything a little bit more cleaner and you don't have to have, you know, uh, more, more gauges if you don't need them. But i um, absolutely stoked where it is. Uh, I used to have a couple of auxiliary, auxiliary relays on the back here for the uh, fuel pump and also for the fan. Uh, for the ECU to control and have now um, yeah rewired it into uh, the, at the front there that um, at the front where the original one was so yeah absolutely stoked that everything's um, all ready to go um, change all the settings got the um, injectors cleaned as well um, they actually weren't far out which is good but I um, got them done uh, got new fuel in it and um, started up uh, she's just a little bit out, so I'm gonna get um, Mr. Nathaniel himself from FuelTech, and he's gonna have a quick look for me. Uh, we're gonna quickly put, put it on, um, yeah, on the live and uh, get it uh, get it really adjusted. So, really happy with how everything's done, guys. So, yeah, I'm, I'm I love this thing. All right, so absolutely everything got rewired. All right, front to back, um, took out so much stuff, and um, yeah, everything is just so much better now. Yeah, so, so good news. Um, yeah, one spike's done, guys, I said. Uh, that's why it's gonna be up, up to the VH, all right, behind me. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get stuck into this on the weekend. And um, I guess a couple of good things coming up as well. So I do have, uh, also a something decent coming up on a good project uh, that I'll be installing a ECU on as well uh, but also uh, very soon I do have good plans on a cart all right so I'll see if these guys can give me some ideas but what I'm gonna do is for the channel because I theoretically got rid of um, you know three of uh, you know my well four of my good projects 
I'm gonna combine two into one. Um, I will let you guys um, guess that, all right? Uh, comment down below if you can, and um, I'll see what I can do if, uh, for the winner. But um, yeah, I reckon, I reckon I'm gonna yeah, get something pretty good here. So I've got a really, really good idea. So uh, hopefully, yeah, I'm going to be organising the everything before uh, I do move into my new place. But um, yeah, I've got all the good good ideas inside my head, and I'm um, starting to look around for a few parts and pieces here and there. But um, yeah, as I said, I'm going to be combining two of them, two of those projects, into one. So let's see if you guys can um, yeah remember what ones uh, you guys can uh, yeah see what. See what I could, uh, what I've got up my sleeves, that's all. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, yeah, fuel tech's all installed on um, the bike uh, properly, all right? I'm gonna say properly only because, as I did say, that I sort of, uh, last time was just pretty much just a bit of a rush just to get it done. Uh, but yeah, really, really happy with how it is now. So it's actually in the gauge cluster. So that there is the old gauge cluster, all right? So all I've done there is, uh, some heavy sandpaper on top, uh, bulk the whole thing, cut out the hole, and um, yeah, put and painted it up. So yeah, uh, it's all smooth, it's all really, really nice. Um, yeah, it took me about two hours to do it. And uh, yeah, you can see how uh, nice it actually looks. All right, so as you can see, it is actually the whole gauge cluster. I was actually thinking about doing it in uh, wood, but that there, um, yeah, is the actual whole uh, frame itself. So that used to have the cutouts. Um, I've just cut out the center, all right, and then I've just bogged both sides, sanded everything first, of course, guys. Got everything really, really nice, and then um, yeah, high field over top, sanded, and then primer paint. So yeah, it's come up absolute treat. All right, so you're just uh, charging up the battery, ready to go, uh, making sure Nathaniel's um, all happy with it. Uh, but I'm really, really happy that I'm actually stoked. Uh, stoked that I've actually got it all working 100%. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, uh, we'll, next video will be probably on the VH. Um, I'll get a couple of things done on this thing. Uh, I really want to do a couple of things a little bit differently, but we'll see how we go. Um, also, um, yeah, I want to, uh, yeah, see what you guys think that the... Next project's gonna be, all right? So, really, really excited that, um, yeah, the, well, my idea in my head that I've got to get done. But, um, yeah, joining two together, guys. See what you guys can guess, all right? So, thanks very much, guys. Um, yeah, I will send a, I will take a video of this next time of this thing uh, riding. But um, I've actually, yeah, I'm actually in love with it. So, it is, yeah, come out really, really treat. Uh, worked pretty much. Most nights this week on it, actually. So I've done a lot more um, outside. The wiring's hard to film, but um, yeah, absolutely stoked. So thanks very much, guys. Please stay on board. Uh, I've got some good stuff coming up, all right? Just stay with me, and um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you, peeps.